Hey, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are doing well today, and welcome to today's Chelsea News videos, where I'm going to be talking about two stories, and sadly, more about one than the other. Now, I was a little bit conflicted when I was trying to decide whether to report on this story or not, but ultimately, Football Therapy at present is a Chelsea News video, and this is Chelsea News. Granted, mainly going around the tabloids, but it certainly is a big story. And I would be a hypocrite if I reported on certain stories from the tabloids and didn't report on other stories from the tabloids. So much of the information that's going around and the stuff I say has to be taken with a pinch of salt, but it is a very unsavoury subject indeed. Of course, that is the new story regarding Callum Hudson-Odoi, the Chelsea winger, the teenage Englishman who has been arrested reported by tabloids but then followed up by other newspapers it's been reported that he was arrested last night at 4 a.m in his west london penthouse suite uh and a ambulance was called police was called and a glamour model apparently called the police or she was taken away or it's pretty heavy incredibly disappointing scenes especially from the perspective of chelsea football club who have been excellent throughout this pandemic and they will be very upset that Callum hudson Adoy is bringing a negative reflection to the club's name. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. I also want to talk about how there is a meeting today that could see Premier League clubs come back to training, that could see Chelsea Football Club come back to training as soon as tomorrow. And I want to talk about what that would mean for the club and, you know, what would it mean for Project Restart and the reintegration of football. But you there, if you like Chelsea news and keeping updated with everything that's going on regarding the Blues, please do subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not already done so. Hit that bell notifications icon because that is important and if you want to help me out please do like this video all right then let's get into the content right so callum hudson adoy i thought this was a reserved relatively shy young man very religious teenager uh, family kid and maybe that's all true but this new story is a pretty radical shakedown of one's perspective of the young man now i really do want to offer the caveat to this story that it must have a pinch of salt taken with it we don't know the facts we know a police the police were called and an ambulance were called at his west london apartment his penthouse at 4 a.m. Already off the mark, not a good look. The reports are saying he had a young lady, a glamour model over at his place who apparently he was exchanging messages with. Now off the bat, where's this information coming from? Is he telling the police this who have told the tabloids? I don't think so. One would assume this information has leaked to the tabloids, perhaps from the glamour model herself. I don't know. I'm just giving you what information is out there at the moment. So certain tabloids are reporting that they were exchanging you know, messages and there were sort of insinuations that they should meet up essentially. So she went to his place and there was some sort of argument, maybe confliction where the police was called and she was taken unwell. So, you know, we don't know what it means, her being taken unwell. Did they drink? Did she get too drunk? Did she take drugs? You know, it's only speculation at this point here. And an ambulance was, you know, came, arrived, and apparently the, the thing to do at that point was arrest Callum Hudson of Doy, who spent the night in a police cell. The neighbours were also questioned and they talked about the young lady who arrived. Apparently she looked like a Love Island type. <sighs> They also commented how they have a lot of footballers in the building and they're used to in and outs, which sounds incredibly irresponsible, generally considering the times. And it all sounds rather unsavory. Like I said, I only know what I've read in the tabloids and I'm not reporting on this as concrete news, but there apparently was an arrest and there was an ambulance called and the lady was taken on well. We know there was the lady at the, um, the apartment. You know, I can't imagine that the neighbors would lie about such things. And whichever way you try and look at this, from any form of forgiving manner, it looks like incredibly irresponsible behavior from the young man. And honestly, something that I wouldn't expect from him from my like original perceptions, like I said, a very religious Christian young man, family kid, uh, it always seems very reserved and shy in front of the cameras, even around his friends on social media and stuff. So it's a pretty radical story in many ways. And for this to happen just before football comes back, maybe, seems uh, pretty extreme for me, you know. Obviously, there's no good time for this to happen because the world's in a pandemic crisis in lockdown. You have to be responsible. You know, Jack Grealish had a story when he was out drunk crashing into cars. Carl Walker, something with, you know, uh, an erotic party or something without getting into the finer details of that. You know, it, it's been really disappointing for the world of football and it looks like Callum Hudson-Odoi has also breached lockdown 
by getting a girl to his apartment late at night. Now, it's important to know a footballer getting a glamour model around his house and having an argument is not too alien to the world of Premier League or indeed top tier footballers. He's a young guy, you know, guys like girls and he got a girl around his house. So I don't, I don't want to condemn him completely until we know the details. Like I said, I just want to report on what's coming out. I did have a, like I said at the top of the video, I had conflicting feelings about talking about this, but I thought, you know what, it would be hypocritical of me not to report on it after I report on other news. I know it's not sport related, but it is related to the club because Chelsea Football Club have done so much good work throughout this pandemic. So much. Unparalleled, in fact, they were leading the way in terms of all the good they were doing, you know, and with Roman Abramovich at the top of that. So the club can feel very, very disappointed that Callum hudson Adoy has done something to sort of bring the club's name down in this, uh, you know, in this time of crisis, really. So I don't want this to be a cheesy news channel while I sound really positive about a sad piece of news, which is probably why you've noticed I haven't been so upbeat in this video talking about this story, because ultimately I am a Chelsea fan. Uh, I want to be as measured as possible and objective, so I'm not going to, you know, look at this through blue tinted lenses, but I am going to talk about what we know and what we don't know and give you a sort of measured, objective, diplomatic perspective or as much as I can. And hopefully I've done that today. In other less unsavoury news, there is a meeting today that could see Premier League clubs go back to training. Obviously, football around Europe is progressing, most notably in the Bundesliga, who this They've actually started their league again this campaign, and in many ways it was a success. They, all the protocols seemed to work in the Bundesliga games, there was the appropriate social distancing, and they had no issue with fans outside the stadium. And there was the derby between Dortmund and Schalke as well, which is a huge game, and there was no issues there, which is testament to perhaps things working really positively. So other European leagues, including the Premier League, should look at that as a massive positive sign, hopefully to take their own steps, provided they're safe and secure. And that might begin with Premier League clubs all starting to do group training again. Notably for this story, Chelsea Football Club, as soon as tomorrow actually, this week. Loads of footballers are itching to go and want to start playing football and basically doing their job again. We forget these guys, this is their livelihood. Sure, they make loads of money, you know, get into negative scandals apparently, but also this is what they do. They want to play football, they want to kick the ball, they want to play the game. They want to train, so a lot of them want to do that. Granted, a lot of them are concerned as well, and you can forgive them for that. There is big concerns uh, regarding the resumption of football. Tammy Abraham notably talked about his father having asthma and how he'd feel terrible if he brought the virus home. So yes, there's you know very, very viable concerns there, but it's not playing just yet. If it's done safely, the training, it gets communication back between the players, seeing each other physically, talking about their game, their strategies, uh, perhaps the club can talk about contracts more with the football players, you know, whether it's like, you know, Tino, Andrew and Tammy, all these young guys, Giroud, Chelsea can move forward in terms of progressing the general continuation of the club. I'm not a massive advocate of starting football again right now. Like I said, I'm kind of on the fence. I've spoken about it on social media. I've provided everything's done safely and doesn't act to the detriment overly to anything else. Like, you know, we, we can't have protective gear going to the Premier League and not going to the NHS. You know, that would not sit right with me. But in many ways, if it can be done safely, I think it could be a good thing for the footballers themselves who can go back to work and it's good for your mental health ultimately, provided they feel safe. And yes, it's entertainment for the nation as well, of course. We'll have to see what happens. I'll, of course, keep you updated with the resumption of training and indeed the resumption of football in England. So, I want your comments. Get down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts about Callum hudson Adore. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about the news story? How do you feel about me reporting on the story? Let me know that as well. Get down there, I'll be looking at the comments. If you've enjoyed the video that I've given you today, guys, please do like the video. Remember to subscribe to Football Therapy if you are new. Also, please give your comments on other stuff regarding football, like the training and other stuff I've spoken about today. If you want to support me more and see more content with yours truly, go subscribe to Jan's Yard, my sister channel, where I've been doing watch-alongs for the Bundesliga, FIFA 20 Chelsea career mode as well. Go and subscribe, the link is in the top of the description. Follow me also on social media, only if you want to, at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that's sort of happening, and I'll see you later. Wait.
so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chuck In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby